Okay. Uh, good morning, everyone. My name is Du Zhengjie. I'm a PhD from China Nanjing University. Uh, today I'm very honored to be here to do the presentation for our paper, Medusa on Real Memory Exhaustion Dose Vulnerabilities in Protocol Implementations. Uh, in this work, we proposed a dynamic technique to discover and uh, uh, verify the dose vulnerabilities caused by the memory exhaustion uh, in protocol implementations. And denial of service attack, in short, DOS attack is one of the most common cyber attacks. Uh, the aim of the attack is to make the target service unavailable to the clients. Uh, normally, it exploits the vulnerabilities or defects of the protocol implementations uh, to conduct attack. And uh, the DOS vulnerabilities can be classified into two types. And the fir first type crashes the targets, for example, the signal fault. And the second type uh, exhausts <coughs> the resource of targets, uh, for example, the memory allocation without limits. And, uh, however, existing, existing uh, dynamic analysis techniques for protocol implementations like f are uh, mainly focused on the uh, crash type vulnerabilities and is not suitable for, the, uh, for discovering the resource exhaustion type vulnerabilities. And to gain a better understanding of the uh, resource exhaustion dose vulnerabilities in protocol implementations, we conducted an empirical study on the uh, common vulnerabilities and exposure, in short, CVE database. And uh, uh, we used two main steps to automatically identify the target's vulnerabilities. One is checking whether the type of vulnerabilities uh, are related to resource exhaustion, and uh, the other is checking whether the vulnerabilities exist in the protocol implementations. Uh, in total, we identified 205 uh, resource exhaustion vulnerabilities, and among these vulnerabilities, 16.4% uh, are related to memory uh, resource. Uh, so in this work, we, we focus on the memory exhaustion dose vulnerabilities. Uh, we summarized four requirements for discovering uh, the memory, dose, uh, memory exhaustion dose vulnerabilities in protocol implementations. They are uh, ability, verifiability, and generality and optimization. Uh, the ability means uh, a dynamic technique should have the ability to explore the memory consumption of different protocol states. And the verification, verifiability means uh, dynamic tech should have proper method like uh, simulating attack to verify the potential vulnerabilities. And generality means generating on various uh, program languages as this kind of vulnerability uh, may exist in the program written by any programming languages. And the optimization means it needs to optimize the fuzzing complex like uh, set, uh, set selection or mutation for exploring the uh, memory consumption. And we analyzed the existing related uh, dynamic uh, uh, techniques and found this, these techniques uh, do not satisfy all these requirements. And we propo our proposed uh, technique, uh, Medusa, aims to meet all four requirements simultaneously. Uh, this is an overview of Medusa. Uh, Medusa introdu introduced a protocol property graph, in short, PPG to describe the uh, memory uh, consumption behavior of protocol states. Uh, Medusa works in two phases, uh, exploration and uh, verification. These two phases are connected by the PPG. Uh, during uh, exploration phase, uh, Medusa attempts to uh, explore the protocol states and uh, uh, measures the memory consumption encoded by each message and uh, Medusa stores the uh, uh, state transitions and uh, memory consumption information into the PPG. And during the uh, verification phase, uh, Medusa constructs the message synchronous uh, based on the PPG and uh, launch the simulated DOS attacks to verify the potential vulnerabilities. Mm. We propose the protocol property graph to describe memory uh, consumption of different protocol states. Uh, the graph uh, is a directed graph with, eight, with labels and attributes. Uh, the 
uh, load in the graph, it represents the state, a uh, particle states and the message, and the edge represents the transition relationship. Mm -hmm. uh, each node has attributes and the functions that allocate attributes. Uh, and we designed four uh, classes to create, update, and match the protocol property graph. And the exploration phase includes a runtime monitor and a set selector and a message mutator. The runtime monitor access the Linux spoke file system to get the memory consumption between each message of test input. And it passes a response message to get the protocol states. And uh, uh, then it stores, uh, uh, and then it creates and updates a node of PPG based on this information. Uh, set selector combines the memory consumption of messages, uh, the, the number of updates and the number of selections of, PPG, uh, of the message node uh, to, s to calculate a score for the test input. And uh, you see it uses uh, scores in the set selection. And the message mutator uh, uses three uh, message level uh, message level uh, mutation method to replace and uh, insert messages which can cause high memory consumption. And uh, uh, the verification fa phase include message builder and uh, attack simulator. And then the message builder uh, will, uh, will construct the um, message synthesis for launch uh, simulated DOS attacks. Mm. And by default, Medusa prefers the message synthesis, which can cause not just memory consumption. Uh, Medusa also support user-specified uh, rules to traverse the PPG. And uh, the attack sim simulator uh, uh, validates whether the Test, in, test input uh, generated by the uh, message builder uh, uh, can cause, whether it can cause the DOS of the test program. Uh, it, it, the simulating process has three steps. One is setting the experimental DOS environment uh, with the test program running in it. And uh, the second is sending the, uh, uh, creating the attackers to send the attack inputs to the test program. And three is uh, monitoring the status of the test, test program under the simulated DOS attacks. And uh, in the evaluation, uh, we aim to answer three main uh, research questions with experiments. Uh, RQ1, how well does Medusa perform in providing the memory consumption during the exploration phase? And RQ2, how well does Medusa perform in simulating those attacks during the verification phase? And RQ3, can Medusa discover previously unknown uh, memory exhaustion DOS vulnerabilities in real world protocol implementations? Uh, we used uh, 21 programs from five protocols as uh, evaluation benchmarks. Uh, this protocol are uh, widely used in other protocol fighting works. Uh, in RQ1, we run Medusa and FLET on the programs in the benchmarks. Uh, each experiment uh, was run for 24 hours and repeated five times. Uh, then we collect, collected two type attributes of PPG. Uh, one is uh, the average memory consumption of all the uh, state transitions, and the other is uh, maximum memory consumption among all the uh, state transitions. Uh, overall, Medusa discover, discovers a significant um, more memory consumption than FLED uh, with uh, 153 times average uh, memory, uh, memory consumption and 125 times maximum memory consumption. And in RQ2, we use uh, PPG uh, generated from the exploration phase and uh, use the uh, uh, default method of Medusa to construct it, uh, message synchronous uh, with the largest memory consumption. And uh, then we used the message synchronous as the attack inputs uh, to launch the simulated, uh, to launch a simulated uh, DOS, DOS attacks in the doc containers. Uh, the, this figure shows uh, actual memory consumption of the evaluated program under the simulated DOS attacks. 
uh, the blue lines are the results of Medusa. Uh, we can see that uh, the attack inputs generated by Medusa can cause significant uh, memory consumption on all the uh, test program. Mm, during experiments, we discovered several cases that can cause the program to exhaust the memory and be killed by the uh, system. And in IQ3, we conducted simulated DOS attacks with different system uh, system memory limitation settings and uh, confirmed that these cases could indeed exhaust the system memory source in all the uh, limitation settings. And we further uh, confirmed that these cases are the uh, memory exhaustion DOS vulnerabilities and still exist in the latest version of, of program. And uh, finally, we uh, found we found six zero day memory exhaustion DOS vulnerabilities in various protocols and uh, uh, protocol implementations with various program languages. Here we introduce a case in the discovered vulnerabilities. Uh, it's a regression vulnerabilities in the Mosquito uh, program. And Mosquito is a mainstream uh, C language implementation of MQTT protocol. Uh, the original uh, vulnerability, uh, vulnerability of this uh, regression is CVE 2017-7651. Uh, and this CVE has been patched, and the patch limits the maximum length of the corresponding packet and, uh, uh, to prevent the DOS. However, the Medusa discovered a new uh, state transition path which can still cause, uh, uh, cause uh, memory, memory exhaustion DOS. And we, we report this new vulnerabilities to the Mosquito team and they quickly confirmed it as regression and uh, assigned it with a new CVE ID. And uh, so um, Medusa is coupled with the website and we will put the data and the source code on this web website. Uh, thanks, that's all.